Hello, hello, hello. This is Jeff Gilden, and I'm here to teach you how to make a website. It's going to be a very simple process. Usually, if you make a website, it's really complicated. You have domains, you have hosts, you have DNS, you have tons of settings. And today, I'm going to make it very, very simple. By the end of this video, you'll be able to have a website up and live. All I want you to do, pull this video, shrink it, uh, put it somewhere to the side of a web browser and literally follow along with me um, as we create a website together right now. So the first thing that I want you to do is click the link below this video. What that does, that'll take you to Bluehost. I'm going to give you the best price possible. Uh, currently, uh, it's $3.95 a month. Obviously, there's an asterisk here. That's if you buy, uh, I think, three years. Uh, but what you'll do is you'll click the link below this video, then you'll click get started now. You're only going to need the lowest plan because you're only planning to build one website. Or if you plan to build more, you can go with the second package. Uh, plus is going to be enough for pretty much anybody. Um, it's unlimited everything, so that's good there. The normal mom and pop, small person, uh, writer, bakery, plumber, whoever, uh, this starter package is going to be enough for you. So click on that. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use website setup demo.com. You'll put your new domain in here. So whatever you want your website to be named, you'll put it in there. If it's going to be my bakery, downtown.com, Joe's crab shack.com, whatever it's going to be, you'll put that right in here. Click on next. And now it'll ask you for all your information. And luckily I have uh, some information saved in here. Hopefully I can blur that out later. Um, what you're gonna do is come down here to package information. You see the 36 month price is 395. Uh, 12 month price is 595 a month. So you click on that. You can uncheck all these. You don't need that, that's all fluff and hopefully I can blur out this part as well. So I'm gonna uh, pause this video real quick while I type this in to make sure I can blur that out. Okay, so after you've typed in your credit card information, you simply make sure this is checked and hit next. What that's gonna do is that is going to set up your entire website process all at once. You don't have to worry about domains. Um, you don't need upgrades. Da, 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 no upgrades so we're gonna hit complete congratulations um, this has been set up now choose a password for your account so we're gonna you know it gives you some information down here uh, we just click create password I confirm that I've read I type a new password in here let's just uh, make a random one Yeah, this should be good all right or you could use the password generator if um, you don't meet all the qualifications of, of uh, what they're trying they may need an uppercase lowercase all that good stuff so you can, password generator works every time I'm gonna click create all right and then you will website set up demo.com and you're going to type in your password, submit. Now this will log you into your hosting account here. You don't have to upgrade or do anything. All right, so now it's gonna maybe give you some help. You can call, blah, blah, blah. Just hit close. All right, so now you're in your back end and what you're going to do is you're click on this button called cPanel. cPanel is going to log you in to another area that's the control panel for your website. Okay, so the one thing you want to pay attention to is this website builder section right here. Um, there's also uh, an email section where you can create email accounts for your domains, uh, connect with Google Apps, all that sort of stuff's great. For the purpose of this video, we're going to install WordPress with one click install. 
So there are some paid options here. They'll help you set up certain aspects of the of the site, but it's free. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We click on install. Then we're going to click on check domain. It's going to check our domain, make sure there's not any uh, install set up. All right, so then it's going to ask you, um, there's some advanced options. Set the site name. So let's say uh, website setup demo. All right, and then we're going to change this to whatever uh, info at website setup demo.com. And you can leave a password or you can change it to um, whatever you would like to change it to. I'm going to change it to, let's see, uh, whoops. All right, so I got that. I'll blur that out as well. Let me see here. Write it down so I have it somewhere. All right, so after you get this set up, those few options, you're going to click I have read and uh, read the terms and conditions. You're going to click install now. And what that's going to do is that's going to install it on the root of your domain. I'm going to take a few minutes here to install this. I'll pause the video while that's doing that. All right. So after the theme is or the website is done installing WordPress, you simply click on View Credentials at the top. It's going to have a user notification. It's going to say your WordPress is finished. Click on View. It's going to have all your information right here until you get access your new WordPress website. Now, all the stuff that I'm passing by, um, the $49 here, $49 there, those are all premium WordPress themes. Feel free to look through these and find a really good looking theme for your website. Uh, but we're, I'm just going to show you how to use some free themes to get your site up and going. So here's the admin URL. We're going to click on that. Actually, let me copy and paste this username. All right, and that's going to take us to the login page for WordPress. So your website is literally already set up. So we're going to log in here, and I'm going to show you the back end. So once we log in, we'll see the WordPress dashboard. Now, what I like to do is I like to keep the dashboard open and also a front end. Now you can uh, you can set up Jetpack if you want to. I'm actually going to deny this <clears throat> and not. Uh, I'm just going to skip this step. Jetpack is a it's a plugin that has a lot of uh, really useful stuff, but for the purposes of getting a website up, it's not. You don't need it. So I'm actually going to go to plugins and deactivate that, so it'll take all the notifications and everything off. I'm also going to deactivate a Kismet, which is a spam plugin, and I'm just going to leave those for now. All right, so you can come here, scroll over your name, and I'm just going to open it in a new tab. So right now, as it sits, this is my website. Here is a sample post. Um, so we are actually up and live. Um, so let's, you know, on the domain that we chose. So. All right, so we've gotten over that hump. So now let's go and install a theme. Let's go back to the dashboard. And we're going to click on Appearance. And we're going to go to Themes. And we're just going to look through this real quick. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use a very simple theme, 2013. It's responsive, which means um, it'll, it'll adapt to all screen sizes. And so once you have this activated, uh, just click customize and that will take you to a section where you can customize how it looks if you want to change the site title and tagline just start changing that and you'll see it update on the website so I'm just gonna put my tagline area just to show you where that is you can also uncheck this box if you have created a custom banner um, to show off your design work um, so if you click on header image, if you um, design a banner to go up top, you can have that already designed in Photoshop or Illustrator or however you want to design that. 
Um, for this purpose, I'm going to go back to the de one of the defaults and we're going to display the header text just to get a website up. Um, your menu section is going to be across here. You've got a search bar here. Recent post, custom side widget. Let me show you what widgets are. There's these little, uh, little handy dandy things you can stick anywhere. Um, so let's say this custom widget, we didn't like that. So we're going to remove that and make the footer look a little bit cleaner there. The secondary widget area is over here in the sidebar. So you've got custom side widget, recent post. And so those are okay for now. So let's click save and publish. We're going to click back and we're going to click the X and you can do a little more customization. Other themes, uh, some advanced themes may have a theme option panel that you can use and it has a ton more settings that you can get into as you uh, customize and craft your site. There's also premium themes websites that you can get a premium theme for, from and install that. It's a little bit advanced. Um, but you know, to just get a website up, uh, the WordPress repository, um, you know, just by going to themes, add new, and then searching uh, for a theme is going to be quite enough for most people just to get something up and going. And then obviously as you get your business going or if you decide later you want a custom design, you can do that as well. All right, so let's go take a look at the front end of our website right now. All right, so that's it. I mean, we've got a, a simple, basic website um, up and going. You can obviously play with the, um, the different title areas, choose a different theme. Um, if you're daring, you can choose something that looks really good. I mean, if you can see this theme, you know, it's laid out fairly well here. Um, it's got a lot of options on this theme. You may want to start small and work your way up as you become familiar with WordPress. Um, on this homepage, under uh, your posts are going to be listed here. So let me just show you how that works. Click on posts. We're going to click on add new and I'll just show you a second post what that's going to look like and I'm just going to do this and maybe we want to add a picture here and we're going to click on the earth again we don't want it to link anywhere and then we want it to be medium so it's small now alignment I'm going to choose right and that's going to allow the text to wrap around to the left all right, so that's going to work that way. And tags, you can do whatever you want to for the tags. It's just a way to um, literally give this uh, a little bit more relevancy to what you're talking about. So Earth obviously would define what's in the in the post there. We hit publish, and then on the home page, you'll see my second post here. So that is just a very, very simple, easy, quick, get your website up with Bluehost. It takes care of all the work. You literally just tell it what domain name you want. Uh, you hit go, put in your information, and you're done. You start immediately uh, with the one-click install for WordPress. Immediately start crafting your website. It's a really simple process. Bluehost makes it so easy. Uh, so take advantage of that and uh, get your website up today. Um, it's going to be real simple. Um, all you got to do is come through here and craft all these areas that are set up with a theme in the WordPress repository. And you can have a really good looking website. Just spend a lot more, you know, a little bit more time than, uh, than what we spent right here. Put some effort into it and you'll do great. It's going to be real simple. So get out there and get your website rolling. Um, and thanks for watching.